You already know what it is, motherfuckers. Now tune in what's a good guy. Your most favorite lover as always, Don P. Alongside LA. It's nothing in the motherfucking neighborhood. Shout out to all y'all subscribing, liking, commenting, all of that amazing shit. Oh yeah, this nigga, yo, yeah. Get him, get him out, get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here, bro. Um but yeah, like I was saying, Frog's really interrupted by this nigga's cellular device. It's another day in the neighborhood. Shout out to all y'all for subscribing, liking, commenting, all of that cool shit. We have a special guest in the building. That's a fact. Hey. Introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa Rose. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, and when I'm not making music, I'm a surgical tech. So my life is... You, you, you talk with your hands a lot. Where are you from? Yeah, I do. I'm from Canarsie. <laughs> what part? She got three niggas in Miami. <laughs> what part? I can't front, bro. <laughs> Kanasi, nigga, sorry, nigga, sorry. The room got a little hot, bro. No, <laughs> not, not even. When we saw the message, we was like, all right, might have to chill. Now nah, we gotta make sure niggas like, it's yeah. Not. So we have to do our little background. Yeah. Check. Like, oh, you know this person? Of course. We ain't never get a message like that yeah. on break. Really? Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. So. Then a little, little skeptical. <laughs> Shit. He was cool. Yeah. It's all about making moves, you know? Get Getting connected. Oh, yeah. 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 Nigga, <laughs> cool. <laughs> nigga hit little Jamaican nah. accent. I nigga cool, my nigga. He good. Sent the text like, yo, Bags. you can put it away. <laughs> <laughs> put it away. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? How's everything? Oh, everything is good. Right now I'm just, you know, working on music. Um Trying to live my best life, I guess. You feel mm. me? And this generation that we live in, it's really hard to like, um, trying to get your foot in the door. You feel mm. me? Because everybody want to do the same thing. So it's like, I'm just trying to find, find what, what's my niche, what's make me different than everybody else. You feel me? So mm. that's what I'm trying to do right now. Just trying to find myself like everybody else in this world. Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like doing the most? Um... It's really difficult mm. to say because I love writing. Mm. I love writing music, but I also, I love my job. Mm. Like, I love my career, you feel mm. me? Like, going to school, graduating, and um, doing what I do now, which is a surgical tech. So, it's it's like, it's a really, I, don't, I can't choose which one I love the most, mm. but it's two of my dreams, so I'm just doing my dreams right now. So How I did can't you even get into the surgical tech? Okay, so the, so basically... When, before I went to school, it was a whole situation. I basically, you know, when you're in a relationship and you're young, you feel me, you get caught up, you think that it's your first love and, you know, that this is the person you're going to marry for the rest of your life. So I basically fell in love and, you know, like everybody else, I got pregnant and, um, no, unfortunately, no, no, no. I pulled out. <laughs> everybody, else. <laughs> everybody else. But, um, um. <laughs> Yeah, I got pregnant and um I wasn't doing anything with myself. Like mm. he was basically taking care of me. You feel me? Mm. So I wasn't I didn't have anything. All I had was a high school diploma. You feel me? So I was basically just, you know, his little ting, you feel me? So I got pregnant and um and like 7 months I lost I lost the baby. That's her name Heather Rose. Mm. Um at 7 months I lost the baby and so while I was doing my research like what happened with it and what happened what was going on I realized, like, there's a lot of people that deal with that situation. You mm -hmm. feel me? And so I said, you know what? Maybe this is the reason why this happened to me is for me to go back to school and actually, like, do this so that way young mothers or any mother don't have to lose a child the way that I had to lose my child. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got into surgical technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're doing it for her. Yeah, I'm doing it for her. And I'm also doing the music for her, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really a blend, so... Even though it has nothing to do with each other, it really connects. How did you overcome that? Um, I think that I think that I overcame it just cause, just by I guess prayer. Mm. You feel me? My family support writing. You feel me? Just writing like my feelings or cause like when something really traumatic happens to you, you just want to block things out. Like mm. you don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want nobody to come to you because everybody was just coming to me like, oh, you know, this happened for a reason. And I'm like, yeah, shit like, that. You don't like hear, you don't, don't tell shit like me that, that shit. I don't want to mm -hmm. hear that shit. You feel me? So, like, I guess I just overcame it by, like, you know, other people is going through it. And I don't want no other female thinking, like, yo, this is it. Like, just because this happened to me, like, I can't I can't do something with my life after this. Like, you know what I mean? So, 
I just, I guess the support of my family and the love that my friends, my family, everybody had for me, I guess I just outgrew it. So now I could talk about it without like feeling sad or crying because I want somebody to hear my story so they could be like, yo, if she could really make something out of something that traumatic happened to her, then I could do whatever I can possible. You know what I mean? So How yeah. old were you when it happened? I was 19. I was 19. So what school you went to to get your degree? I went to Queens College. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you went from Canarsie all the way to Queens College? To Queens College. I had to do what I, had to do what I gotta do. Jesus yeah, I did. I went there. So were you a writer before this traumatic experience? Um, I guess I was writing, but I was dibbled. I was just dabbling, like, j- just for a joke. You mm-hmm. feel me? Just for a joke. It's until, like, it happened to me. I, I realized, like, yo, I really want to take this music thing serious because that's when I started writing heavy. Like, it just made me have more words. You know, I started reading more. And songs just come, just came out of me. You feel me? And I was just like, yo, this is really something that I want to do. But I also don't want to just, you know, just fuck the sur- surgical technology. You feel me? Because that's what I'm, I'm doing it for my daughter. Mm-hmm. So... I just kept that on the side and just kept music on the side as well. But now I'm doing both and I'm just, you feel me? I'm happy. So I can't complain. So how do your family feel about you dabbling in music? They just like, okay, but you're still doing surgical tech. Yeah. You're not my, really focused on it. My family. Where you from? I'm, I'm from Haiti. Oh, okay. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm from yeah, Haiti. <laughs> that's the devil. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Why is it the devil? We that's definitely why had the right music. music like they don't. The strap, some certain certain parents don't like Caribbean parents don't want to hear none of that. Don't want to hear that, none not, of that. It's like that happened, that's, it worked for that person, but it's not gonna work for you. It's not go to school, exactly. Go to school, and learn think, a trade or something. Yeah, I think it's because they came from another country to make something for us. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So they're like, I worked this hard, and you're gonna tell me that you're just gonna do music? Like, what is that? You feel me? Yeah. So they want something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Music? You made money yet? You making money with music? You made money? You made money, you made money yet? So you do you wasting your time? Like you you wasting your time? Get out of my face, <laughs> Get out of my face. Like, they don't really, they, yeah, yeah, so they don't really, yeah. Episode of Caribbean parents. Bro. Seriously. And bring our Caribbean parents. Ooh. And bring it, can bring me back. Bring my mom. Niggas will see where they at. Yeah. They gonna believe in me when I when they get a rape or some weird. When they get a when they see the money coming in, that's, that's when it's when gonna they, stop oh, talking. That's that's when they're gonna stop talking. You end up on TV or some shit like that. Yeah, that's oh when they're gonna God. be like, "Oh my God, look at my kid." That's when they're really gonna okay. talk. I've been yeah. Up to you already. It's all good. <laughs> mm. So what's uh, what's next for you? Like, what's the goal? How do you how do you want to get this ball rolling? Have you got the ball rolling? Have you recorded it? Yeah, because yes. a lot of a lot of people be like y'all sing, but they scared to record. They, I'm. That was me before. Mm-hmm. That was me. I'm not going to hold you. A couple of months ago, but somebody would tell me, like, yo, come to the studio. Like, you nice. Come come sing. Come sing. I would have been like, nah, I don't want to. You feel mm-hmm. me? I'm scared. I'm not ready yet. It's not... I wouldn't say that I wasn't, like, trying to go for it. I guess I was just kind of shy. Like, what if people don't like my shit? Like, you know, what if people don't really fuck with it the way that I fuck with my music? But I realized, like, I got to do it for me either way because mm-hmm. I don't want to grow up and be like, yo, what if I really did it? You feel me? You don't want to... You don't want to feel yeah, like when you're miserable, exactly. bro. Like, what if? You know? Exactly. So I just said to myself, you know what? As soon as I graduate, that's when I'm going to take this music thing seriously. So I've been using the surgical tech paychecks, you feel to me? To pay for the studio. To pay studio. for... Yeah, for studio. Yeah, your daydream. I mean, yeah, your day job, exactly. Studio, so I've been recording right now. I have a single coming out August 11th. Mm-hmm. August 11th is coming out. So, you know, I'm excited. You feel me? Because that's my first... Thing, actual so. song yeah where, where, where did you learn to sing were you singing in church singing in church my dad is a pastor Oof. my dad is a God pastor mm, what church emmanuel baptist church in brooklyn church mm. avenue church in where 34th between 35th well you know the <laughs> I'm church not, i'm not ca- i'm not I'm, you know I'm the not, church i'm from i'm from uh staten island oh <laughs> so what? Don't fucking listen. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm from Staten Island. What was this man's foolery? So <laughs> nah, I know where that church is at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. That yeah, that's my dad's church. He's a pastor, so he's very like strict. Mm-hmm. So with the music thing, he's like, yo, you going into the music business? People's gonna try to use you. You mm-hmm. a very pretty girl. That's all he's thinking about. It's like niggas is gonna try to get something else out of you. You feel me? So which is true. Yeah. You man, feel me? Actual question: How do you feel about you getting pregnant young? Mm. 
So there's a whole story you behind for it. Yeah, talk about let me it. Tell you, you, was, you was fucking in my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the devil. Whole... <laughs> That's the devil. <laughs> Professor, no. <laughs> Professor. That's what I'm listening. So there's a whole story behind it. But um so yeah, I was nineteen. Mm-hmm. That was basically like my first real relationship. I was in love. Like oh, yeah, I thought school. I thought I was in love. How long like, y'all were together? Um before, like Five years. Five year curse. curse. I told you. I told you. <laughs> There's History a five year shows curse. It. History shows it. There's a five year curse. I have this theory uh-huh. since episode one. Uh-huh. <laughs> what well, episode is this? It's gonna be 76? 70, 70, yeah, 70, 76. Oh, wow. Congratulations. 76. Right? 76. That's a lot. From episode one, yeah. I pronounced that there's a five year theory in where all relationships, something stupid happens out of nowhere and it kind of ruins all relationships. You survive the five year curse, you marry her. Or, Facts. yeah, well, yeah, I can't marry him, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a five-year curse. I'm telling y'all. Wow. I'm telling y'all. You might <laughs> kill me for that. You know how wow. niggas be making theories and then they end up dead or missing? My five-year theory, bro. Something's in make the sure, Something sure, is make in sure, the Make sure we make it before you go missing, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to your story. Oh, but yeah, so... Um, 19. I, I was 19. I thought I, I, I thought I was in love. He was leaving for the military. Oh, so my I God. So, yes. <laughs> he was leaving oh, for... Oh, my God. <laughs> military niggas. Military niggas. It's different. Only it's different. It's really different. It's really <laughs> different. That's where the Camaro... I got all of this shit. <laughs> it's really different. But, um, yeah, he was leaving for the military. And um, he basically was like... You know, he was swindling my head. You feel me? Like, Same he knew... What? Like, you know, I love you. I don't really want to go without you. You feel me? I really want you to come with me. We spent all these years together. You know, my my stupid self was like, you know what? Yeah, oh, babe, really? I love you so much. You know what I mean? So, um, so he, he proposed. He proposed. Military shit. You feel me? Yeah, he, he wants pro- the crib. Exactly. <laughs> he wants the crib sound good. He proposed, so I was like, you know what? I'm in love. I, I'm thinking that this is the person I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. So we got married. I got married at 19. Oh, yeah. You moving on some guy and shit. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you feel me? And so... Cool uh, run is part two. Comes you mean- <laughs> yeah, I got married and... um. I didn't tell my parents. Oh, yeah. I told oh, him, oh, yeah, shit. I told him that I told them or whatever, but I knew that my dad was going to be like, what type of shit is that? He didn't come to me. He didn't ask me your hand. Like, nah, this is a dub. You feel me? So I didn't tell my dad. Yeah, I went downtown. Yeah, we went downtown. <laughs> we went downtown. I was in jeans and a shirt. Like, if you would have saw us, you would have been like, girl, you need to stop. Like, you don't really want to marry this boy. You feel me? So, um, yeah. Was I he didn't... older than you? No, nah, we was the same age. What? We was the same age. How big was the ring? Huh? How big was the ring? You pawned the shit? I ain't gonna lie, bro. You did your homework or something, bro? I didn't pawn the ring. I oh, didn't I, pawn I, the I, ring. I, but I, did, I gave it back to him. I'm a nice person. I gave it back to him. Because the relationship, it went trash after a so while. So they're not, they're not cool at all? No comments? No communication nah, at all? Nah, they're not cool. So if he, like, blow, like you blow up with you, what do you mean? It's a, a dub ski. It's a dub ski. So boom. I didn't tell <laughs> I didn't tell my parents. <laughs> it's a dub ski. I didn't tell my parents. And um the day I was supposed to the day I'm supposed to leave, I'm packing my things and my parents my dad is like, Yo, where you going? I'm like, Oh, I'm going to Georgia for like a week. You feel me? Only a week. And That's what he was based out of? He huh? was yeah, in oh, Georgia. Okay. So I'm like, I'm only going to Georgia for a week. I, you know, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So he's like, yo, let me call this nigga and see what's up. Like, what? he didn't even ask me to take my daughter for a week. You feel me? So he called um, he called the guy, and the guy was like, oh, um, yeah, Jaleesa didn't tell you? Like, Jaleesa didn't tell you? You know, we going to Georgia. She, and my dad is like, yeah, I know y'all going for a week. And he's like, nah, we going there to live. He was like, to live? He's like, yeah, me and Jaleesa got married yesterday. <laughs> I what you mean? They look at that work. Got... All right, thank you. Taking the bell off, come here. You about to get lashed up? You feel me? So he got tight. He was so disappointed because me and my dad have a really close relationship. Oh, I see. That's you feel me? Saying. So I tell him everything. So he felt, Except he kind of felt, yeah. Mm-hmm. So he kind of felt like, wow, you didn't even tell me like you got mad. Yeah, bro. you feel me? Like he you're supposed to be my you son. Yeah. Moving walkie, boy. You moving? You moving crazy? Wacky. So boom. 
he found out he got upset or whatever the case may be and he was telling me not to go like he was really talking to me you feel me but a part of me was saying like nah i really love this boy and if i don't leave with him he probably gonna leave me i was stupid i was Yo, young you know you could have hit him with the verse that bible verse that like, bible. <laughs> i have to follow my husband i have to follow my <laughs> husband <laughs> Don't use it. Don't use that. Don't use that against me. He need to rip that verse out of the way. You feel me? I don't see that shit. You feel me? So I, I just, I just left, and he was, he was upset. So I just went to Georgia, um, and I stayed in Georgia, and um, he didn't talk to me for like a year. He didn't talk to me for like a year, and it broke my heart, like that he didn't talk to me for a year. So then, um. That's when I realized, like, yo, I got to call my dad. You feel me? Because shit was happening in the relationship. And I was like, there was nobody for me to talk to. And the only person that would understand is my dad. You mm-hmm. feel me? So I called him and I was just telling him, like, yo, daddy, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm never going to do this again. I don't want to be here. Like, I just broke down crying, telling my dad, like, this was the most biggest mistake of my life. And as soon as he was like, yo, you know what? We'll take care of it when you come back to New York. I got pregnant. So now it's like, yo, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, at least he was married when you got Yeah, married. exactly. So he couldn't he couldn't really be mad. He couldn't really be mad. I follow protocol, Dad. Don't worry about it. I follow the protocol. <laughs> you feel me? So he was just like, yo, um, I got pregnant. So then he got even more mad because I told other family members that I was pregnant before, before told I told my dad. I don't like to be the last one to know anything. Oh my god! So he was he felt even more disappointed. Like, yo, what's going on with you? Like, you growing up and you're not telling me things. Like, of course I'm gonna want to know about my first grandchild. You feel me? Yeah. So he was upset, but then at the end of the day, he realized like I told him like I want to stay for my child. Like, I don't want my child to be born in a broken family or whatever. Mm. So. I'm like, whatever situation is going on with me and him, I'm going to try to fix it because a child is coming into this world. You feel me? Like, we're going to put our differences aside and really take care of our child. You feel me? So, the relationship didn't work at all. Even when I was pregnant, it didn't work. So, I came to New York and I was, yeah, I was seven months. And luckily, I'm like, I, I can't say that I thank God that it happened or whatever, but luckily I thank God that I was here when it happened because mm. if I didn't have my family with me, I would I wouldn't with. I would definitely not be here right now. I would definitely not be here right now. So when I came to New York, that's when everything happened and like I had my mom and my dad in the room and da 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 and then, you know, things were happening and they was just like talking to me, telling me everything's gonna be okay, da da da. Like I felt safe. You feel mm. me? And he the guy wasn't in the picture. You feel me? So, it was like... So, after you left New York, yeah, he just stopped talking to you. I mean, after you left Atlanta, he just started talking to you. Yeah, we didn't talk for a little while. So, how you because he didn't. Divorce? Because, let me tell you, so he didn't want... Damn, bro, I got a question. <laughs> do you do you I like that. Do you so, boom, he didn't, talk, he didn't talk to me because he didn't want me to go to New York. Because he knew that if I went to New York, I, would, I was never coming Come back. back. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, he was like... I'm gonna let you go for a week if you wanna go. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go for a week, but you gotta like, you know, my daddy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bring that yeah, ass back. So when I went, and then the whole situation happened when I lost my daughter. Mm-hmm. I had, obviously I had to call him, you know, because that's his child too. So I had to put differences aside again and just be like, yo, this is what's going on. I need you to fly to New York right away, like. You feel me? Like put everything that's going on, but like to the side. Like you feel yeah, me? You this is really, yeah. Like you gotta you gotta come to New York ASAP. So he came to New York. He came to New York, and it was like it was like two strangers in the room. Yeah. It was like two strangers. Like we didn't fall in love when we was young. You feel me? Like now it's like I could see him. Now I could see him, and we. <laughs> I ain't gonna find no funny shit. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm listening to you. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Right now. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you, King. We here right now. We here right now. You understand me? me? I'm here. I'm I'm listening to your story, though. Yeah, so... (laughs) Shit, worse than Grey's Anatomy right now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm hurting right now. I love Grey's Anatomy. Nah, I I can't watch it anymore, but I'm listening to it right now. Yeah, so... um, Yeah, it just didn't... It just didn't work out. It was just like two strangers in the room. So, Mm -hmm. um... After everything that happened, I just told him, like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna always have love for you because Mm -hmm. I got married to you. Feel me? Like, it's always gonna be in the books that I got married to somebody else. You feel me? And I moved someplace with you. I lived with you. We we was about to start a family. Like, 
I'm not going to just be like, fuck that nigga. You feel me? Like, I'm always going to care about you. I'm always going to love you. But at the end of the day, you need to, like, you know, just mm-hmm. move away for a little bit because I need my space. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because things didn't work out with us. And now we don't have, you feel me? Now we don't have a child that I have to, like, you know, we got to do this. I got to mm-hmm. do this. I got to call you. I don't even want to call you. I don't want to talk to you. You got to pick up your child. I don't want to go through that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we stopped talking for like years and I started another relationship. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So he was finding out about, Mighty senses. yeah, he was finding out about the other relationship, but mm-hmm. he was, he was also cheating in the relation in our relationship. So he's still with the girl that he's cheating on. If he's watching this, I don't even care. He's still with the girl that he cheating on she me with like right Cardi now. B a bit, bro. Oh, what? <laughs> right now. She moved real Cardi B-ish right there. I'm here. I hate you. So, um, yeah, so I started a whole nother, I started a relationship or whatever, <laughs> and um, he found out, and he was just like, yeah. You um, gave away his pussy, bro? Oh, my God. That's what he said? Nah, he you didn't say out, that. Out. You bugging out. What? You got that license done, right? You got a license done, right? You bugging out. <laughs> but he was just, pussy. He was he was just upset like oh you know you know you might you still my wife you feel me like no matter at the end of the day I don't I don't care who you be with who I be with I don't care what the relationship or the situation I had you my wife at the end of the day I'm like oh word I now it's time to get these papers done because I was I was lally guy oh wait you got you, served wait wait wait, wait you, you got served wait wait you was his wife like you yeah still, I yeah I was still was his adulterer. I was an adulterer oh. I was an adulterer the blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought <laughs> nah, he wasn't cheating. Black men don't cheat, though. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Who's you? Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, keep Black tracking that. Black men not cheat. If that helps you sleep at night. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I'm... You feel me? So that's when I realized, like, yo, the only thing that's connecting us right now is the fact that we're married. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And every all the money that I have in my bank account still was attached to him. You feel me? Exactly. The bills in Georgia, <laughs> our names was in it. The car that he was driving, my name was on the oh, car. He was fucking up your credit. I ain't a lot of clap that account. I was. You ain't to clap your account. I was. Oh, I was God. dumb. I done repo that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I done clapped your fucking I account. Violated, right? Are you dumb? Wait, you didn't repo it? I didn't violate. I didn't violate. Yeah. I just took my name out. That's it. I I, I, I handled it. I handled it the classy way. Not I handled Kenossi, it the classy so. way. You was born in Kanasi? Yes. Nah, she lied. <laughs> yeah, she the class. Yeah, she the class. Yeah, I don't know. She was violated. Bro. I was doing. I was trying to do it the nice, the nice way, just cause I wanted to be done with it. I didn't want to mm-hmm. drag. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to drag it, cause like if I did the extra shit, he would be like, okay, she still cares. You feel me? Cause he knows, like he knows that if I was to key his car or like take money out his bank account or whatever, he'd be like, oh yeah, she still cares. That's why she's doing all this extra shit. So you- but when I'm serious, mm-hmm. that's when he's like, oh, she dead ass. So you've done that before. I was thinking that too. Key somebody car? Yes, you have. Listen, you <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just keep the question. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, let me ask you a question though. How did your father take all of this stuff? He did was your Did your father call him? No. And then call him, I can't believe you did this to my daughter. No. What she? What he do? He cheated on, cheated on his daughter. Did, did he know that part? Yeah, he knows everything now. He oh. knows everything now. So the bond is back. The bond is back together. Huh? Yeah, me and my dad. Yeah, we're mad close now. But um, yeah, he was disappointed, and I I think that's the worst thing, mm-hmm. cause I'd rather him yell at me than him just being yeah, like, oh too. wow, okay. You feel me? Like that breaks my heart more for him to just be the like silent treatment. the silent treatment. Like, oh my god, just don't do that. Just yell at me. Like I could take yeah, it. That, that shit no, is yeah, it's I'm the really, worst. I'm really disappointed in you. I'm really good at I'm, the silent treatment. Oh my, bro. I'm re- yeah. You. That's the that's the worst when they be like, I'm really disappointed in you. And just walk away. Like, <laughs> You're not, oh, nah. no, okay, I'd rather beat him, bro. Let's go, let's yeah, go. just get the belt. Like, let's go. Make me knee and rice or something. Some what? what? Yeah. You guys never did that? <laughs> no. Really? My parents know better. You're going to have to catch me for that. <laughs> really? You went to to knee and rice? Yeah, when I was younger. Bro, <laughs> oh, I ain't going like for it. That's a difference. four years old. <laughs> I was four years old. That's I a child. I ain't going to lie. I thought tiny people do shit like that. Really? <laughs> What was the purpose of kneeing and rice? That shit hurt, bro. You got hard rices, bro? It hurts. It hurts. Especially when I used to curse in the house. So how you feel about Kaepernick taking a knee? Bring back memories. <laughs> Yo, you really think you're funny. You really think you're funny. <laughs> Yo, who was up He's with this nigga, bro? He's a jokester. <laughs> but, but yeah, so crazy, he was upset. But now, like, our relationship is back. And mm. so he's just That's like, he's just like, it's it a is, waste right? of rice, though. 
Yeah, I guess. I didn't actually hit niggas with your dad, dad, and mom, and there's people in Africa starving. There's people in Africa starving, and you put rice on the floor. Bro, you gonna be stuck on that shit But it used to make me act straight, because I used to be like, nah, I can't. You had to clean the rice before. I had to clean the rice. You had to clean the rice. I had to clean it. No, I had to put the rice on the floor and kneel in it and just stay there for like probably like 30 minutes. It was. Bro. Nah, it's really not. It's really not. For Caribbean parents, you can't say that as child, child abuse. abuse. That's mental abuse. That's you can't even say it. Caribbean, I can't say that. Caribbean, I, would never eat Caribbean, rice again, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want none of that shit, bro. Losing weight would be no, bro. No <laughs> carbs, bro. I want no rice. I don't want yellow rice. Brown you want rice, rice with your chicken? No, give me veggies. Don't give me, no, give me nothing. No black rice. <laughs> no black rice. Black rice right now. No black rice. No black rice is really good. I don't know what you're talking about. Shout out to Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. What you talking about? I'm not gonna troll my Ashley either, bro. But yeah, but yeah, he was really disappointed. But you know, he's good now. He yeah. just, he just now he's very careful, like who I start dating now. Yeah. You, you gotta know meet me him? because I, 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 I really fucked up in mm-hmm. the beginning. Mm-hmm. So now he's just like, yo, he's more lenient. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna meet him. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna talk dinner. Da da da. Blah blah blah. But he still got his little third eye. Like, what you really trying to do with my daughter? Because that's my only girl. You feel me? So you got brothers. I got one brother. Older or younger? He's 19. Oh, he's now at your... Yeah, yeah you, got, you, got, exactly. you, gave, you gave him a conversation already. Of course I gave him, because he's in a relationship right now, and he thinks he thinks that she's RPG? the world. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> 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 All right, let's make it sure. You feel me? So yeah, I have the works. I have the talk with him, because he don't have an older brother. He don't have older guys so, for him yeah. to talk to. You feel me? So I don't... Like exactly. And my pops... He wasn't raised in the streets, so he can't really, really talk to him about, mm. like, all right, this is the type of people that's going to try to influence you to do stuff, especially, mm. you know, we live in America, and people really trying to, like, really downplay our black mm. men. You feel me? So I really just should be trying to, like, put my brother on, like, mm. yo, these streets is not for you. Stay in school. You're smart. You feel me? Like, the jail systems is meant for people like you. Like, they want people like you in jail. Mm. You feel me? So I just be trying to push him towards the right way mm-hmm. so he don't head towards the direction I was heading. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I learned his own though. Yeah. How, how did you learn to open up to another man after going through all of that? Oh my God. It was hard. Mm-hmm. Trust issues, dating, dating communicating, all, that all of that. What? After that, it was like, as soon as the person was like, yeah, oh my God, why are you acting like that? I would have been like, yeah, it's clip. I'm done. It was easy for me to just, yeah, oh, I'm done. Detach yourself. Yeah, yeah, to detach myself. But yeah. I realized I can't do that if somebody's really trying to love me. You feel me? And I just detach myself from the the person, a good nigga. You feel me? And I changed him. You feel me? That's like my water, bro. <laughs> so it was hard for me, but I realized. So you could have clipped a couple of Russell Wilsons mm-hmm. because you had a future. Clip, 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 clip. <laughs> Clip, clip, clip. I had to clip him fast. You feel me? You feel bad? You ever told him my fault? I fucked up? I was nah. Like, There's never no apology. I apologize. No regrets? No, like, I don't, I, you don't apologize? I don't apologize? Regret, regret, not, not, not to your ex-husband, but to the guy yeah, who okay, actually man. tried and you clipped him because he didn't understand or you, you didn't understand that it was just you. It was you, not him. You know y'all like to say that. Damn, nah, I didn't apologize. Now y'all really want me to make see maybe. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna front. I, I, I was apologize 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 for violence. You should. There was a lot of people to click, apologize. Click, click. <laughs> oh, you, of, you gotta apologize I, 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 to I, I, a lot of people. I, I, you would have to unblock. Yeah, oh, I, you gotta unblock. I don't unblock first. people. Bro. Oh, you don't unblock. Nah, I want you to see me flourish. Exactly. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree. Follow you or you're the nah. <laughs> That's a dog. No. So how you gonna see that? No. He's gonna see me flourish, but he don't need to know what I'm doing. Mm. He don't need to know what I'm doing, but he's gonna see though. I must make sure he sees. <laughs> well, I make sure wild he sees. Bro. <laughs> she sounds wild vindictive. So you gonna let your new nigga propose to you in front of his base? That <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna that's lie. That up. that right there, that'll that be is lit. messed up. The fact <laughs> that you even had the thought in your head. Nigga, that's so <laughs> nigga really evil, bro. That I'm say really evil you. shit. <laughs> But yeah, how did you open up? Like, you're in a relationship now. How did you even get to the point where you was willing to date another man? Um, it was hard. Mm. It was hard. I think I think everybody after they gone through like a relationship that was just like yo that I was really in love and she broke my heart, he broke my heart. You need to take a break. Mm. You feel me? Take a break. Find yourself because I was with him 
since like ninth grade. You feel me? And I didn't really have anybody else. You feel me? So that was like my first everything. You feel me? So I Dang. never, I never like experienced like different type of niggas to see like which what what do I really like? What I do I want? Together. Well, I lost my V. <laughs> he didn't lose it to me. I know that is traumatizing. That's traumatizing. <laughs> but yeah, so I had to just take a break and find myself, go back to school, focus on myself, focus on my money. You feel me? Get everything with myself together because no nigga want a female that's not doing nothing with her life. You feel me? So I was talk like, you know, it. exactly. So I was like, let me get <laughs> exactly my, talk about about it. You got, you got experience with that? No. Oh, because uh-huh. you sounded like you was in your feelings. Nah, you just, was like, talk about it. That's just, <laughs> that, that is just, it's just a phrase. <laughs> Hot damn. Oh. Sure you, yeah, <laughs> sure you listen? Sure you listen? Sure you listen? I'm a quiz. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that's about it. So what did you, did you actually Google what happened or your doctor told you what happened? So, um, I actually know what basically happened, so. one day, um, what is it called? Damn, the my memory. Report? What is it called when, um, oh, I wouldn't know. I know. What is it called when, um, somebody dies and they have to figure out how the person died. Autopsy? Autopsy. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> My man, Grace and Adam, got me, boy. I'm here for it. Watch a lot of so, weird shit. <laughs> so, um, they asked me if I, they wanted, uh, they asked me if, um, mm-hmm. I could let them do an autopsy on her or whatever. She was really tiny, like really tiny mm-hmm. or whatever. And I was like, of course, like I really want to figure out what happened so that way when <laughs> I do decide I'm ready to have another baby, I don't want it to happen again. Mm-hmm. So, um, they did it and they found out that she had fluid in her brain. She had fluid in her brain and um, basically like a piece of her head that was supposed to grow didn't grow. Mm. So like she was growing inside of me, but the fluid that I have in my belly was, was going, going in her in her head. Mm. You feel me? And so um, they gave me like a bunch of papers and I read I read like eight all eight pages because I was I really wanted to know like what happened because I was good. I was feeling her kicking. And then the next day, no movement, no, no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Oh, you just went for a regular checkup. Anyway. No, let me tell you. So I was in the house. Um, I was in the house. I went to take a shower. I was drying myself off and there was blood. You feel me? So now I'm panicking because I know when you're pregnant mm-hmm. and you're bleeding, it's either like the baby's coming or something is wrong. Mm-hmm. So I was telling my dad like, yo, something is wrong. So my dad drove me to Methodist Hospital. Mm-hmm. My dad drove me to Methodist Hospital and um, basically... Um, they didn't, Methodist Hospital don't have an emergency room. Mm. So, you had to- so I was just walking, you know, I was just walking with my dad or whatever. So some lady was like, what's going on that I told her was going on. So while I, and I didn't know what I was having. Mm-hmm. You want to go to Brookdale? My so, dad, my dad, let me tell you, you something. You want to go to Killer Dale? Yeah, c- why kinda, would I go there? It has an emergency room. Killer Dale. It's called, with the name it's like called Killer Dale. I'm st- it's still closer. Nah, if you wanted an emergency room. Nah. What's the hospital on Kings Highway? Um, that's Brookdale, right? Is it Brookdale? The one I'm right from there, on Queens. Kings. I don't know what's going on. The one right there on Kings Highway. Oh, I think it is Brookdale. Yeah, it is by Brookdale. Avenue A. Yeah, it is. Brookdale. Yeah, that's the fastest emergency to your house. Yeah, it is. But my dad was not having that. He wanted the best doctors, best everything. So he was like, "Yo, I'm about to," and he skirted. Mm. Like I never seen my dad drive so fast. He was like, "Skirt, skirt, skirt, skirt." Mm. You feel me? So. You do that on your ad libs when you say when you say sure? no, it sounded bad. It sounded <laughs> <It's good. weird. laughs> so um yeah, I got there and um I didn't know what I was having. I didn't know whether it was a boy or girl. My mom, oh, you didn't want to know? I didn't want to know until I gave birth. You feel me? So um but my dad knew because he, the guy told him. So um while I was there, the doctors the doctors was just coming in and out, in and out, in and out, getting the next doctor, getting the next doctor. So now I'm just laying there like, all right, something is wrong. You know, when you see a bunch of doctors coming in and mm-hmm. out, they don't really want to tell you anything. They want to make sure. So um the last doctor just came in, looked at the sonogram and was just like, um, he told me straight up, like, do you want a C section or do you are you gonna do it naturally? I was like, Oh, so she's coming. And he was like, I'm sorry, but there's no heartbeat. I'm like, so what does that mean? My like, heart just dropped, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. It should feel like Grey's Anatomy. Like, yeah. Bro. So he was like, there's no heartbeat. And I was like, um, like, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, is there a way to fix it, to get her heart start pumping? Like, what do I need to do? And he was like, yo, there's nothing that you could do. Like, she's just in you. You feel me? And, like, the, the longer that she stays in you, the more you can have an infection that could kill you. You feel me? 
So right now I'm just thinking, so he's like, all right, you got to think fast, C-section or naturally. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, what are you talking about? Like, you just told me, He's like, to my, yeah, you just told me that my, yeah, that. you feel me? Because I bought, I bought stuff. You feel me? I got the room ready. I got the room ready, everything. You feel me? Planning baby showers and everything. So we got in the room and then the doctor told my dad, my dad came in crying and my dad was like, um. My dad was just like praying with me and he was like, um, you was going to have a beautiful daughter. That's when he told me like what I was having. So I just, I, I instantly like just broke down. Like this is not happening right now. I already went through mad stuff with this nigga. He's not even here. You feel me? I'm just with my parents, the same parents that told me not to go. You feel me? So now I'm thinking like all of this is my fault. You feel mm. me? All of this is my fault. I stressed myself during the relationship. So it's, I'm thinking like, yo, this is my fault. This is the reason why she passed away is because of me. I didn't take care of myself. I was too busy worrying about this nigga. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, um, so I was like, you know what? I'll just do it naturally. And then he was just like, it's more traumatizing when you do it naturally because you're pushing. Yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? My friend did it, that. You yeah. feel me? So I was like, I don't want to have a C-section because the when you have a C-section the first time, you got to keep having a C-section for all the kids that you're gonna have. So I didn't want to do that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do it naturally. So I just, I, t- I said, you know what? This is what I got to do. And I held, first of all, I held her and I held her inside of me because I was waiting for him because I didn't want him to miss out on what's about to happen because that's his kid too. You feel me? I know that he's as, he's hurt as much as I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. So I was basically like still thinking about him. You feel me? I was still laying there and they telling me like, yo, this affection might kill you, kill you. Like we got to like get this baby out now. And I was just like, we got to wait. You feel me? He's, he's getting on the plane. It's only like two hours. You feel me? We got to wait. We got to wait. It's when the doctors came in like, yo, it's a dub. You feel me? Like we got to get this baby out now. Da, da, da. I can't imagine a doctor telling you it's a dub. Well, he didn't say it's a dub. But <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it's a dub, but he was just like, we got to get it out now. So... Luckily, they got it out in time that I didn't get sick. I got out the hospital the next day. Um, so when they did the autopsy, when they did the autopsy, they was just telling me like, "This is what happened with her," and um, it's rare. It's very rare. Like I don't remember the numbers, but it's very rare for this to happen. You feel me? So I'm just thinking like, damn, why it had to happen to me? This is this is my first child. You feel me? Like, there's people that don't even want their kids. You feel me? Or don't even take care of their kids. I wanted this baby so bad, and, like, I lost her. You feel me? So, it just, it fucked my head up for years. It fucked my head up for how years. Many, how, how long ago was this? Um, I don't think you said that. It was five years ago. Yeah, she would have been five. She would have been five. Yeah. So, you got pregnant at 19? Mm-hmm. You got married and pregnant in the same year. In the same year. Boy, that man was trying to trap me. No yeah, time. He was, he was trying, trying to trap he was, me. He, was, he definitely was trying he to trap me. He tried to trap me. Yo, shorty, his, his shorty, if you listening to this right now, yo, nigga, nigga probably toxic, bro. The <laughs> toxic. Yeah, bro. Good Fuck luck. Over. I got his luck. Yeah, happy just say it. Just Where say it. Like... He toxic. So, you've made a, did you make a song about him yet? Did you make a song about him yet? I made a song about him. Mm. What's the name? Mm. <laughs> what's the name of what's the, the name song? Of it? Is this the one that's coming out August 11th? No, it's not. All right, so what's the what's the name? It's gonna be called Fuck Boy or some shit. Nah. Like that. <laughs> it, it's just Fuck called the Why. Army. It's why? just called Why. Yeah. Why? I like it already. <laughs> so, yeah. Why? He's really gonna be he's really gonna be upset because I'm really talking about everything, but like that's the it way I'm gonna don't. express myself. So I don't care. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't care. I really don't. And I, I I made a song about my daughter as well. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's also going to be on the EP that I'm trying to put out in November. So he's really going to listen to it mm-hmm. and be in his bag. I want him to be in his bag because he told me. But you said <laughs> but you said you don't want to do anything because you don't want him to think you care. So why? No, no, no. Let me tell you why. All Let right. me tell you why. Because, yeah, tell me why, why. All right. Why, 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 why? <laughs> While I was in Georgia, I was writing songs. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And like when I told him... um. When I told him, like, this is what I want to do, 
all he kept thinking about is, nah, niggas, niggas is gonna want you. Niggas is gonna try to fuck you. Oh, you my girl. I, I don't yeah, want he you. He worried about the next man. I don't want you in this music business at all. This music <laughs> shit is not for you. I don't want you doing this shit at all. You're not gonna make it. Mm. So what did you do? What did you say to him? You stopped? I kept writing. Oh. I kept writing. You on, on the low, though? On the low. I kept writing on the low. And now, like, with this EP, he's going to hear it. What's he's the EP gonna... called? Mm. What's up? Look at these sound effects. Mm. <laughs> you didn't think of a title or you got a title? I got a title, it's but I'm not saying it yet. It's his name? No, it's not his name. Oh, it's not his name. That would be OD if it was his name, right? right. Just post it. Post, yeah, no. Oh, you talking- I was about to say the name. Oh, I'm about to say it. I was about damn. to say the name. You might the first. <laughs> it was the first. You might the first the who violated that action. Facts. <laughs> So yeah, so I basically just put my life into the music. Mm-hmm. Um, so now we're like doing this project. Like I'm excited now because mm-hmm. it's something that like he really told me that I wasn't I wasn't gonna do anything with it. That I, this is what's gonna happen. So the fact that I even graduated to become a surgical tech so I could do this for my daughter mm-hmm. is something because you still in the same position I left you in. Mm-hmm. You feel Don't me? Get shit. You feel me? Don't get shit, queen. You feel me? <laughs> Oh, you gotta relax. You feel me? You in the same position that I left you in, so I'm good love and joy. Oh my god. (laughs) Nigga hit him for two jabs. Two jabs right quick. So So are you prepared to be in the same position that the doctor was for you for another woman? Are you did you Mm. mentally prepare? How would you deliver that same news that you got to somebody else, to another woman like yourself? So it's kind of hard because right now, right now I work in uh, the pediatric part. Mm. So I work with sick babies and, you know, um, so I, 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 I've experienced like parents losing their child. You feel me? Like the first time it was just like. I had to go in the closet and just cry because I was just like, maybe this is not, maybe I just thought that this was me, but I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think my heart is ready for it because like I have a huge heart. Mm. So it's like seeing that happen to another another parent mm. is like just really was traumatizing to me. So I was like, maybe I'm not ready. So I, I quit that job. Mm-hmm. I quit that job and I still took a while to like, I got to heal first because I can't, I can't go to the next parent and be like, yeah, you know. You, this is what happened. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you, you, can't, you, gotta, you can't do that. You can't, can't cry. Do that. You can't exactly. Cry that's in that's, that's in the rule book. Yeah, you can't that's cry. That's in the rule book. You cannot grace, cry. Gonna... Yeah, you know, <laughs> you really <laughs> watch Grey's yeah. Anatomy. Yeah. Yeah. Young Meredith, right here. Huh? You feel Married. me? <laughs> yeah, you see it. Yeah. You feel Married. me? So you got you got to put your feelings to the side mm-hmm. when you walking into the room. So um, I had to grow. I had to grow as a person. So now. Now I could walk into the room and like tell a parent like, yeah, you know, this is what's going on with your child. Your child might not make it or this and that and not and not feel anything because now it's like I'm I'm doing this so I could help your child. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I'm doing this just so that I could be a part of a team that could that so you could see your child grow into an adult. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like live their life like nobody wants to see a kid in the hospital you feel me? Like kids shouldn't be in the hospital. They should be out having fun, living their life. You feel me? Now, what was the happiest moment? Um, the happiest moment when, well, like, well, being a surgical tech. Um, I guess the happiest moment is just like seeing kids smile. Like, even mm. though they're in the hospital, they're like the most strongest, like people mm. in the world. You know, like, like some of them have cancer. Some of them have um fluid in their brain. Like, some of them was born with fluid in their brain, but they're, you know, mentally challenged. Like, they're slow in school. They can't learn things fast. They have a problem with, like, communicating with other kids. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I guess my happiest moment is just, like, seeing the kids smile, even though they're in, like, a bad situation. Just, like, me coming in and be like, hey, or dressing up in a a costume, like, as a Disney person. Like, hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? Like, that's what really makes my heart smile. That's the the reason why I love doing what I'm doing. Like, I get to save some lives. So, So, yeah. Imagine the person that you mess with a couple years down the line, they don't want to have kids. Mm. How would you feel? It's over um, after that. It's over. Nah, I don't think. I don't think that it's over. I think, damn, that's hard. <laughs> yes, hey, you feel me? You feel me? That's bro. hard. That's I'm really saying. hard. I think. So you want to have kids? I do. 
I do. I really do. I really do. And not marriage. right now. Marriage again too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. I, 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 it's not that I just, you know, said fuck marriage, fuck love, all of this shit. Like, fuck niggas. All niggas are the same. I'm not like that. You feel like me? You said that before. <laughs> you never said that before. Fuck, fuck niggas. I said that. I said that before. I think every female said that before. You think I'm saying that? Pray it. I fuck niggas. Fuck niggas. Amen. Fuck niggas. Fuck niggas. Fuck niggas. Fuck niggas. That's how Canarsie women pray. Yeah, but you know, I still believe in marriage. I still believe believe in love, and I think if he don't, he doesn't want to have a kid. I don't think it's gonna work out. I don't, you know, just because I love my family. I want to have a big family. You feel me? So. Um, it's either I deal with somebody that ha- already have a kid, um, or so you you open to being a stepmother. Yeah, I am. It's cool. It's I so am. Soft. I really am. So why you why your face looks like that? Yeah, my my first kid, your first kid. <laughs> oh oh, you got a child? I'm good, love and joy. Really? <laughs> That's how you are. Yeah. You shouldn't be like that though, because what? you we're getting older, so everybody's having kids. Who getting older? You're not getting I'm older. <laughs> I got Pharrell syndrome, nigga. I'm getting older. I'm getting yeah, <laughs> Bug it out. <laughs> Tell me I'm getting older, bro. I don't want to hear none of that. Nah, I'm, but it's I'm true. still 18 years old. No, are you really? No. Oh, I, I was about to say. I was about to say, you do not look 18. What? <laughs> but like, everybody in our generation is having kids. You feel me? So, Once again, speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have kids? No. no we don't. No. <laughs> but still. <laughs> no, we're we're that. But still, would you date, would you date somebody have. that had? Exactly. Uh, and how, how was it? Huh. That's a, she don't no, listen. You don't listen. <laughs> she gotta get a square, cuz. She gotta get a square, cuz. <laughs> don't listen to this podcast. How was it? Nah, go ahead. Talk what nice. To? Talk nice. The talk nice. Re listen. Talk nice. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. But um, I think the hardest part about dealing with somebody that has a kid is like the other person that you had a kid with. You feel me? I oh, think. Oh, the baby mom. Yeah, baby the father, baby mom or the baby the father. It's like, you feel me? That's That's like the tricky part. But I don't mind. I'm open. You know, I'm open. I love kids, so I would treat your daughter. Do- I would treat your daughter or your son like they're my own child. You feel me? I'm not gonna be like, oh wow, you have a kid. Yeah, that's a dub. But you feel me? Because it also <laughs> it also speaks about yourself. Mm-hmm. Like how you treat your mom speaks mm-hmm. about yourself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If I come to your house and you disrespecting your mom, like fuck you, mom. Da 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 blah blah. <laughs> you- why you do this? You from Kenosha, Williamsburg? <laughs> 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 No, not <laughs> fuck not, you, mom. <laughs> you I want to pasta. No, not straight up, not straight. I want to pasta, mom. Fuck off, you. Not fuck straight you, off the mom. bat, but like you know, being disrespectful here and there, like you know what I mean. Like I just that's ignore a, my mom. She gets disrespectful. That's about it. That's that's okay. I ignore <laughs> my mom too, but I I I watch that. So mm-hmm. if I come to your crib and you know you just disrespecting your mom or you didn't say hi to her and you know that's the first time you see her and you just trying to bring me upstairs, that's a dub. Because you not you didn't even you say hi to your mom. You gonna introduce her, yourself? I'm, I am gonna introduce. I'm respectful. <laughs> no, mom. <mama. laughs> I'm respectful. <laughs> if you don't intro, if you don't introduce me, I'm gonna introduce myself so she can see that I'm serious. That you like to play games, but I'm serious. <laughs> hi, how you doing? My name is Jalisa. You feel me? <laughs> what does she call you? Another name? Like hey, Tamara. Yeah. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, cause some moms is petty. I ain't gonna lie. My mom, like, hi. Five minutes later, who the fuck was that? Who the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> she said hi to Mara. Hi to Mara. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or she'd be like, oh, she'd be, oh, she'd be like, she'd be like, oh, you the girl. That's you not the girl. Funny, bro. Yeah. Or she'd be like, <laughs> hi to Mara. I, ain't gonna th- I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to end this month. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Or she be, or she be like, oh, you the same. <laughs> you feel me? That's not gonna stop. <laughs> That's going to keep running from both That's O.D. Oh, that's O.D. Or she just... tell she don't listen. You feel me? (laughs) (laughs) Or she she just be like... Or she just be like, you the same girl that tried to sneak out of the house yesterday morning? Oh. Like, what? Oh, Oh, really? Nah, I'm not that girl, but I'm going to find who the girl is. I'm going to find out today. I'm going to find out today. You feel me? I'm going to find out today. So you're crazy. You're a little little, little nutty. No, I'm not nutty. bro. What that mean? Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know. What you're that? Right. Yeah, explain to me what that means. Yeah, nutty. We Sex. nutty. You dated Haitian girls before? Nope. Wow. So how you know we nutty? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> huh? No. 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 Never dealt with a Haitian. She said. She said. She said. 
If you ever date. Okay, you oh, but you dealt with a Haitian. Dealt with a Haitian. How was that? <laughs> How was the dealings? Dealings. <laughs> so so <stupid. laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole, so You're so asshole. So, yo, I asked you that one fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that to myself. Yeah, what happened to that girl? You feel me? Well, you we got know one. Yeah. 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 Nah. I'm good. I'm good off that. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're different. I stay. I stick to my con. I'm good. I'm Jamaicans. I'm good. Yeah, y'all a little, y'all a little nutty. And Jamaicans are. That's a couple of My ex was a Jamaican. Oh, God. My ex husband was a Jamaican. Oh, what happened? No, he wasn't Jamaican. Yeah, no, no. He was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. He wasn't. He was Jamaican. He lied to you. He was Guyanese. He was Guyanese, bro. He was Guyanese, bro. He was Guyanese, bro. I made that joke earlier, but I'm being serious, bro. He was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. Man, congratulations for everything. Yeah, facts. I ain't gonna lie. Coming through that. Thank you. that, you know. Thank you for allowing me to come here, though. Yeah, yeah we thought she was going to lie on us, but this, this is good. This really? Is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you thought it was a joke. We wasn't playing. <laughs> you <laughs> like, it was thought not, it was a, a joke? joke? Yeah. Nah, because I like... I, I saw so much people in here before you got here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I like to make connections, you feel mm-hmm. me? So I, when I saw the podcast on Instagram, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, this is dope what they doing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? How can I be a part of it? So I was just writing just to write, but I guess people don't usually do that. No, we don't. We don't fuck with a lot of strangers Yeah, people don't really do that. Most people do it through the email. Oh yeah, there was an email. Yes, My bad. That's so good. It's so good. I didn't see the You're email. I had, I had to. <laughs> I, I'm from Kanasi. I had to sneak in the DMs real quick. Well, let me ask you a question. You ever done any features? Um, I have a feature. Mm-hmm. Gotta gotta hear some music, man. I gotta, you do. Yeah, I August 11th. August 11th. All right, so this will be our August present. Yeah. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so you yeah, exactly. Good promo run. Exactly. You used us. And how? <laughs> 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 this is a great conversation. I needed good move. It. Good move. <laughs> strategic shit. Strategic shit. Strategic shit. You go full for this shit. You go full for this shit. Let me try somewhere yeah, else to promote my music. Alright, you caught on. Yeah, yeah. But thank you, though. Yeah, guys. No, nah, seriously. Seriously. Just a great really conversation. Like I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing your story. Facts. Nah, seriously. Once you say you, you wanted to talk about relationships, I'm like, yo, this nigga know this nigga. We done covered that in and out, but your story was you know, dope. It was dope. Thank you. Sure. Thank God you. Bless you for thank you. Forever. Tell them where they can follow you. Um, they can follow me at Lisa Rose mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um, Lisa L I S S A R O S E underscore mm-hmm. underscore. Um, they could follow me on Facebook. Um, Lisa Rose also mm-hmm. same thing. Is that thing. your biological name? No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> my, Jalisa, Jalisa. That's right? my real name. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's where they can follow me at. You're not, you not on Twitter? No, I'm not on Twitter. You gotta Twitter. get on Twitter. Get on Twitter. I gotta get on Twitter. Yeah, get on Twitter. People was telling me to get on Twitter. Yeah, you gotta get on Twitter. Yeah. I be feeling like get on Twitter. Nah, nah, get on Twitter. Get on Twitter. I'm too, we don't get on Twitter. Yeah. But over. then I gotta start from zero. Y'all gotta help me get my numbers up. <laughs> so we already you... helped you already. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> You're doing a little too much, buddy. You gotta calm down. Nah, if the music dope, you know we got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, Thank you. We guys. got we got people doing it. Yeah, thing, so. you feel me? We gotta we gotta support each other. There's That's not a lot of people that supporting each other in Brooklyn. You feel me? And like everybody wants to do something. Everybody gotta hustle. So mm-hmm. like I'm I'm trying to support everybody. Everybody trying to support me. We all trying to get money. We all trying to succeed. We all trying to get out of here. Say you facts. feel me? <laughs> no, I wanted to, to go. Oh, I was waiting for that. One. That's why I was waiting for that. <laughs> That's crazy because I you know, just, Jonah, like, know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I do talk with my hands a lot, right? Yeah, like you I'm do. about to fight. That's okay. It's the hood shit. <laughs> but let me ask you one question. Yeah. Short serious question. Um, to you. What do you believe a good guy is? <sighs> not your ex, but okay. <laughs> Definitely out. not. Um, I think a good guy is someone that, like, he has to be respectful. Mm. You feel me? He has to... He has to have his own shit. Like he has to he has to know what he wants to do with his life. It doesn't even matter if he's not doing something right now. If you even have the thought of like, yo, in the future this is where I'm going to be. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Even if you you broke right now, I'm still going to deal with you just because you had that thought. Cuz most niggas don't even have that thought. You mm-hmm. feel me? Most niggas just sit in their crib, smoking weed all day, not doing nothing. They don't want to do anything with their lives. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So somebody that just knows that 
there's so much more in this world that you feel me there's so much money to be to make there's so much dreams that like you can accomplish like somebody that just believe in himself mm -hmm. seriously you feel me that's a good guy to me that's really that's really all i need is somebody <laughs> what you got <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to get you in trouble, bro. I'm with you, bro. Yeah. You can follow me at Staples yeah. LA on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow the podcast at What's a Good Guy on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud every Monday at 8 p.m. on those three platforms. platforms. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on all platforms, Don Peasley, D O N P E Z L Y. Mm -hmm. um, you know the vibes Appreciate this young queen For stepping in Appreciate this young king For being here The young king's in the building You know the vibes Facts, Everybody continue to flourish Stay frosty You know the vibes Facts. Stay hey, frosty please You know the vibes email us So we don't okay. have to <laughs> Ask friends for loners And burners oh, Now we gotta return Them shits Oh okay. snap and That's a fact Alright <laughs> That niggas holler at me man Alright have a good one <laughs>